Welcome to our kitchen. Today we prepare medieval poached eggs from Maestro Martino's Libro de Arte Coquinaria, called Ova Sperdute in the original text. This source dates back to the 15th century. We start with ingredients. We need eggs, sweet wine, verjuice, rose water, sugar and the spices, ginger, nutmeg and cloves. First, we prepare the sauce. We mince the ginger and pound it in the mortar with nutmeg, cloves and a bit of sugar. Then dilute with verjuice and rose water. Plates with eggs were popular in the antiquity and middle ages. We find several kinds of preparations from hard boiled and fried eggs to poached eggs. We prepared in the past two recipes for poached eggs, one from the Reco Quinaria and the other from Anonimo Toscano. You find the links to the videos in the description below. Rose water is very common in the late medieval and Renaissance recipes. In Italy, we buy rose water in Indian and Middle Eastern or Arabic grocery stores. The author doesn't specify which spices to choose, just that they have to be sweet. In Anonimo Toscano and Anonimo Veneziano's manuscripts, written in the 14th century, we find blends of sweet spices, which include saffron, cinnamon, Indian bay leaves, cloves, ginger and nutmeg. Choose the ones you prefer. There are two kinds of agrestum described by the medieval sources, for example the book by Pietro de Crescenzi, one liquid, the verjuice, and one made with boiled down and dried juice of the unripe grapes. If you do not have verjuice, you can use orange juice instead, suggested as an alternative by the author. In the 15th century, there were in Italy both sweet and sour oranges, but sour orange juice maybe is the best choice for this recipe. There are a few variants for this recipe in Maestro Martino's book. In the first, the eggs are cooked in water and served with the spices rose water, orange juice or verjuice and grated cheese. In the second version, the eggs are cooked in milk or a sweet wine and served without cheese. If you prefer the first recipe, use pecorino or parmigiano, obtaining in this way a savory dish. If you want to know more about medieval cooking, check out our new book, Registro in Cucuine, a medieval cookbook, on Amazon, available in English and Italian with more than 80 recipes, or our Patreon page, in which you find translations of sources of cuisine and dietetics, in addition to several articles about historical foods throughout the centuries. If you're interested in ancient foods, check out our book, Ancient Roman Cooking. To support our work, you can also buy us a beer or purchase our merchandise. You find all the links in the description below. Then we pour the wine in a pot, bring it almost to a boil, and poach the eggs for about two minutes. If you prefer the yolk firmer, cook them a bit more. This dish turned out sweet and spicy, with a good balance between the flavors given by cooking in wine and the addition of verjuice. With orange juice, it would result more aromatic and intense, and surely this version is worth a try. The yolks are perfectly tender and delicious with this blend of spices. You can choose between a sweet dish, adding more sugar and, if you want, cinnamon, or spicy poached eggs, like the ones we prepared today. In the latter case, the addition of a pinch of black pepper would be great. Pepper is considered a strong spice, not a sweet one, 
but it pairs perfectly with the other ingredients. If you want a savory dish, use water instead of wine, then add cheese and just a pinch of sugar. The author doesn't mention salt, an ingredient that medieval cooks usually don't write about, so you can decide if you want to use it or not. We pair these eggs with walnut bread, you find the link in the description below. If you're interested in ancient foods and flavors, subscribe our channel and consider supporting us on Patreon.